According to studies and personal experience, the way men and women communicate with one another differ vastly in today's society. From the way we talk and listen to the way our body language interacts, there's no doubt that each requires its own style of interaction. However, a lot has changed throughout the years, and with technology influencing us to be more outspoken and with more people revealing their true sexual orientation, I find it really hard to establish the standard social norms in today's society. Now, in this clip, I will discuss how my relationships with my girlfriends differ from my guy friends and how difficult it is to apply the same social norms to friends and to friends who are sexually attracted to the same sex. Fairly easy with my girlfriends, with my heterosexual girlfriends, um, we are very open-minded to where the first topic um, that we discuss whenever we we meet up is sex. Um, we talk about whether or not we have a, a boyfriend, um, whether we're being sexually active with anybody in particular, if we have friends with benefits, etc. So we feel fairly comfortable to, to talk about that. Now, right after we do talk about work, um, a lot of my friends are, are very independent and they all work and, and go to school at the same time. So we do catch up on, on um, them moving up the ladder and, you know, how successful they are um, at what they do. And as, as a drive, as a motivation, um, we do have that innocent competition to where, you know, we think to ourselves like, oh, you know what, if she can do it, so can I. And we do seek advice from one another. Um, after that, we do talk about family. Um, a lot of them, they do have kids. So uh, family is an important topic for most of us. Um, and we do talk about siblings, parents, and, and family members. Um, now, in regards to our body language, I mean, we're all girls. Um, we are fairly unconscious about what it is we're doing physically. So that's that's something that we feel pretty comfortable with. Um, now, in regards to our relationship with guy friends, um, the testosterone makes a huge difference. Um, only because, I mean, we have guy friends um, because, one, we either like them or, or are interested or because we have known them for a long time. So we already know our boundaries as friends. Um our body language, however, will tell you where they stand. Um, if the person is interested um, or not interested, I mean, they'll either be very physical. Uh, they'll probably hug you, give you a kiss as, as a high to, or as a way to say hi. Or if they're a little distant, it's because I'm sure they have a relationship and, and they just want respect or want to respect their relationship status. Now, if they are being physically, however, and you're reciprocating that, um, it's a cue that they automatically pick up on, and this will determine whether or not it could um, be sexual at some point. So I'm very, um, I'm very careful with stuff like that because you don't want them to think otherwise and just kind of lead them in the wrong path in case you're not interested. Now, the discussion topics are very similar um, to the ones that I have with my friends, with my girlfriends, except in a different order. Uh, for some reason... Uh, the guys tend to want to know your relationship status first. So they will ask whether or not you have a boyfriend, whether or not you're still with your husband. Um, they will want to know this just to know what to say or what not to say, I believe, which is a smart move. Um, they do then talk about work um, and school. And if the guy is interested, um, they will brag about it more than they are just sharing um, as much as they will give you an actual figure number on how much they make uh, financially. So when a guy's not interested, they'll, they'll just be very brief, get to the point. Uh, not a money figure will be discussed. And so you'll, I'll be able to tell um, their intentions with sharing as much as they are. Um, so it, it, when you compare the two with girls and guys, it's completely different. And like I said, Guys, normally, they have a purpose and they're aiming at something. As opposed to my girlfriends, they, they just want to catch up and, and there's no um, type of attraction in any way, shape, or form. Now, in regards to the gay, lesbian community, I have a lot of friends um, that 
um, are attracted to the opposite sex and the relationship with them is completely different. So now I feel like we have a third category. Um, with my gay or with my lesbian girlfriends, um, I do have to keep my distance at times only because being friendly can sometimes be confused or misinterpreted, and they might think I'm interested. Um, however, they know I'm heterosexual, heterosexual as can be, and I do receive a lot of respect. Um, so as I get to know them, um, I do set my boundaries. But it's sometimes it's attention that I don't get um, from my heterosexual girlfriends, and it's hard to adjust. Um, don't get me wrong, it's hard, but... I guess this is part of our new adaptation to our new society. Um, Gay guy friends, um, they are a blast. I mean, they're they're very outspoken, very fun. Um, They do reveal a lot about their love life, especially now that Colorado is accepting civil unions. I mean, they love being expressive about it. Um, They do share a lot of goals, um, school, um, their their work and how successful they are, things that may we can relate um, to everybody else. Um, and in reality, our social lives and our body language, for the most part, it's all common. Um, as long as we set boundaries and then they know what they are, nobody crosses over them. But um, in reality, the only difference that I, I see with my friends is just the opposite sex for me that I'm interested but other than that, we all have a lot of things in common, and and it's just a matter of adapting, and, and that's all.